don't think that anybody who's studied or who's part of or who knows the black community in Nova Scotia would deny that it remains one of the most disenfranchised and disadvantaged communities in the province. Uh, black people pay taxes. Black people pay municipal taxes for uh, property taxes. Black people living in, in North Preston pay taxes as well on their land, and yet they don't have clear and unequivocal title to their land in many cases. Um, you know, citizenship is a two-way deal. You're supposed to be an active citizen, um, abide by laws, pay your taxes, act legally, but you're supposed to receive certain services in exchange for that, you know, from uh, authorities, including municipal and provincial and federal authorities. And one of them is to, is to be treated equally. And, and clearly we have a situation here that goes back to the 1800s when black people have been promised over and over again land and, and title to the land and assistance in gaining title to the land that they've been inhabiting for centuries that they still don't have. So it's appalling that, that in the year 2015, people who've been on this land since the War of 1812, you know, still don't have unequivocal title to land that they've been inhabiting. So of course, I, I realize that it's a, I'm sure a bureaucratic quagmire and I'm not saying it's going to be easy to resolve but the province has an obligation to respond to the needs of black residents who clearly have been there uh, for a couple hundred years and who clearly have a right to their land and who've been paying taxes for it so their situations need to be regularized they need to be honored and they need to be uh, engaged and allowed to be full citizens like anybody else and, if, and that involves assisting them and clarifying this muddle and allowing them to have what all other Canadians aspire to have, which is ownership to the land that they've been t paying taxes on.